guys, I'm Tish, your EV girl, and we're out here in Austin, Texas at yourbikergang.com, and we're about to see what all this is about and see if we're gonna join up. Who are you and what are you doing here? My name's Sean Cope. I'm the director of operations for Your Biker Gang. I, I'm from here, I grew up in the city, born and raised Austinite, and I have a fiery passion for everything that makes Austin cool, the great food, the great music. I love this company. I fully back it and believe in it, and have been blessed to be a part of creating it and helping it grow. So when did you guys get started? We got started by getting one of the bikes at first. Our owner lived just downtown and it was a little too far to drive your car, didn't make sense because you didn't got to find parking, but it was just a little too far also to ride your mountain bike and not show up to work all sweaty. <laughs> so he got one of the bikes, fell in love with them, ended up, his family loved him, they cruised him around the neighborhood. That was the joy of it, going out with your friends around the city, just cruising around, and they wanted to be able to share that with as many people as possible. So they came up with the idea of an experience company. It's been a lot of fun being able to create these experiences and share them with people from all around the world and expose them to the e-bike and the EV world. We get a lot of first-time riders that have never experienced e-bikes before, and they leave here loving it and, and, and wanting to go get one. Why use e-bikes and not gas, scooters, or motorcycles? The city that we're in is very progressive and it's very green and forward thinking like that. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to fit with that same theme and be, be a little quieter as we were going so we could talk and experience the ride without loud bikes. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the durability and, and versatility of having that battery rather than having to put gas in it every day. And it really lends to the experiences that we do. Why did you guys choose the Rad Power Bikes? the versatility of the bike itself. It could fit two people when we needed it. It has a large cargo area, which I love a lot and works really well for an, uh, an experience because people bring jackets and purses and books and cameras and all that and they can stuck them in here. And then the durability of the bike. It's a very durable bike, big tires, lots of grip on the front. They're really easy and, and, and fun to learn how to ride. And it, it's, I mean, training's a breeze with these. Even when we get people that never ridden an e-bike before, they've ridden bikes before, and so it's very approachable and, and easy to learn how to ride. And I think they look, they look awesome. They look really cool. It fits our, it fits our style, our kind of ethos here. It's very free-spirited, very um, let your hair down and enjoy yourself. Kind of leave your old life behind for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. You get a persona when you walk in. You get a biker name. So everybody, you, you're not. Uh, Jan anymore, you might be uh, stitches for the day or something like that. And so it oh, really. So you do give everyone a we, name. As soon as they walk in the door, we give them a biker name and with mm -hmm. the helmets that we have back there, mm -hmm. and they can they can get bandanas and stuff too. And so you really get to channel your inner biker. It's the best when you see the tech industry guy, you know, <laughs> would never ever do anything like this, but as soon as he puts on that helmet and jumps on the bike and gets that overwhelming feeling of coolness, throw on the goggles, they go out into the city, he's all of a sudden the coolest dude in the world. Just riding around and enjoying tunes. Do you guys pick the playlist and everything? We do. Each one of our road captains curates their own playlist. Fitting with the experience that we do, mm -hmm. and also fitting with the city. We have a lot of great local artists here, and so we lace those in throughout the tracks mm -hmm. that we play. Um, and a lot of it's tunes that make you feel good, that everybody knows, that are fun to sing along to, and that you can interact with. And we don't call our guides tour guides. Mm -hmm. they're, they're more than that. We expect more out of them. We call them road captains. In a biker gang, the guy out in front that plans the ride, plans all the stops, he's the road captain, and so we follow in that same ethos. Go to our website, and you can, you can find our, um, our career page there and be able to go and, um, and throw in an application or call us. Give us a call. Throw us an email. We look at personality a lot mm -hmm. first. If you got the credentials after that, that's perfect. But the main goal is to find that personality. Find that person that wants to be extra, that wants to, to meet new people and is not afraid of uh, taking some risks and, uh, and trying new things. For our guests, uh, it's super easy. Just go to yourbikergang.com and uh, pick your city. You can go to Austin or San Antonio, and then you can pick your ride type. We have a bunch of different types of ride experiences that we do. So you can find the one that best fits your schedule and your style and what you're into and mm -hmm. want to experience, and then um, you can book right there. My favorite ride is our original biker gang ride. It's a good city overview. You get a little bit of everything that makes Austin Austin. You get the music. You get the, the murals, you get the history, the rich history that we have here, and you get the sights and the sounds of the city. I'm Blade, your Eevee girl, and this is Peanut, the best road captain out there. Uh, thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys later. How do you communicate with the other side? <laughs> I love that <laughs> unpredictable horn. <horror> that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks, Rooster. <laughs> <laughs>